Hi, James with the OneHourSmartHome.com, and today we're going to go through the ring doorbell wiring diagram for you. If you are installing a new ring doorbell and you're having issues, or you are installing a new ring doorbell in a new home, or you just want to know how your doorbell is wired so that you can get it installed, that is what this diagram will help you do. So I'm just gonna explain a couple of the different things here and a couple tips for installing your Ring Doorbell. Now this will work for the Ring Doorbell Pro, the Ring Doorbell 2, the standard Ring Doorbell, and those three doorbells. So uh, what we've got here is our transformer, our doorbell, and our doorbell chime. Now the first part of the system is the doorbell transformer. So what a doorbell transformer does is it steps down electrical current from 120 volts, which is typically in your house, down to a lower voltage from 16 to 24 volts, which is safer for wiring for low voltage appliances and stuff like that, less likely to cause fire hazards, as well as it's easier to run. It's not as big of wire and it doesn't necessarily have to be in conduit to get from point A to point B. So that's the first thing you've got house voltage and then your transformer. If you have a existing doorbell that's not working, 90% of the time it's your doorbell transformer. You just gotta go get a new one. They have these at Home Depot or on Amazon. Uh, I'll include a link to one that I recommend on Amazon that works really well with the Ring Doorbell Pro, Ring Doorbell 2, and all the Ring Doorbells. So we'll put a link to that below. Um, and then what you've got is your doorbell. So that's just your standard Ring Doorbell, or if you've got an existing doorbell, uh, that represents that as well. And then you've got your doorbell chime. Um, this is one other thing that if you've got an older home, sometimes your doorbell chime can go bad. Uh, it's a little bit more rare, but I'd say like that other 10% of the time, if it's not your doorbell transformer, it's your doorbell chime. And it's from somebody just holding down the doorbell button uh, for a long time, and usually that burns out the, the chime and the doorbell transformer. So the doorbell chime, all it is is really a uh, kind of magnetic solenoid is what they call it. And when current is applied, it has a little spring in it. And that spring and magnetic uh, current that is created or magnetic field that's created from the electrical current causes it to move up a piston and it hits the doorbell chime and it makes a tone for you. Um, so what you have is you've got one wire that will go directly from your transformer out to your doorbell, okay? It, it doesn't get interrupted by anything. It goes from one terminal on the doorbell to the transformer, vice versa. Now your other wire is gonna go from your transformer and it goes to that tab on the doorbell chime that is labeled trans for transformer, okay? And there's a little terminal there and that's where you're gonna connect it. And then the other wire that you're gonna see usually going into your doorbell chime you're gonna have two wires that should go in unless you've got a three uh, wire chime and two doorbells, which we'll cover that in another video, but this is for most people a standard setup. You're gonna have two wires coming in. One goes to the trans and the other one's gonna to go to the front. So before you set up your ring doorbell, you wanna make sure you take a picture of which wire goes where and you wanna keep them the same. But uh, basically this is indicating that the wire goes from the transformer to the doorbell chime. The other one is that from the doorbell chime to the front doorbell. That's what, what the reason is behind that. And the rear is usually left off because that would be if you have two doorbells. If you've got one in your front and in your rear, then that rear would go from the rear out to the doorbell chime. So uh, what you've got here is you can just follow the path. We've got a wire that goes to from the transformer to the transformer terminal on the doorbell chime. And then you've got from the front terminal on the doorbell chime to the front doorbell, your ring doorbell, and then from your ring doorbell back to the transformer. Now, a lot of you will have a little ring power pack or power puck that gets inserted there, the power adapter kit. And where that goes is just right here. So all you're gonna do is um, you're gonna insert it so that it is obviously connected to the transformer and front doorbell trans or the transformer terminal and the front doorbell terminal on the doorbell chime and you're going to connect one wire to the transformer i'm going to use a different color that's better represented here you're going to we'll do pink um so you're going to connect one end of that uh doorbell power adapter to the transformer terminal just like so you're gonna connect the other end of that uh, doorbell adapter to the 
front door terminal like so. And then I'm just gonna represent the device there. You're just gonna connect, per the instructions, the transformer wire to the doorbell power adapter and the front doorbell wire to the doorbell power adapter. And that is it. That's all it takes to wire up a ring doorbell. And that is the wiring diagram for a ring doorbell. So we hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, very simple to install these. If you're having issues, check your transformer first. We also have a video that tells you how to check your transformer voltage with a multimeter. So that's always a good idea before you get started. So thanks for watching. Please uh, subscribe to the channel and like if this video was helpful for you.